welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to Midnight Oil Prayer, day two of praying the Psalms. Listen, as you come in and listen, don't forget to let us know where you're tuning in from. Tell us what city, what country, what state you are listening from. I'm so grateful that you all are joining with us as we pray the Psalms. What you don't realize is happening in your life as you begin to pray the Psalms. Your spirit man is being increased. It's being infused with strength. It's being enlarged. Oh my God, listen, we're so used to our flesh, our carnal man being in charge and in control. But as you begin to pray the Psalms, praying the scriptures, you're going to see your own personal prayer life transform. You're going to see results to the prayers you've been praying for years and waiting for your answers. All right. So today we're going to be reading Psalms 2 and then we're going to go straight into prayer. I thank you all for joining with us. And remember, you are not going to recognize who you are when we get done reading and praying all 150 of the Psalms. We're not trying to move through this quickly. We are moving through it, showing you how to extract and pull out the keys, the nuggets, the gold that is within the scriptures. All right. So I know that right now it sounds like our prayers are very personal and it's because they are. First of all, what God is doing is he's building you. And when he then begins to build you, you then in turn begin to change your prayers and it begins to go more outward. But first of all, we got to get you built back up. All right. So many of you, you're like, well, I've already built. Praise God. Continue to build. You never get to a place where you have achieved everything that you know about prayer. Prayer is too vast of a topic, of a subject, of a dimension of God. We will never know everything that we need to know about prayer until the day we come home to Christ. All right. So we're going to be reading Psalm 2 out of the King James Version. And it's titled, The Anointed One. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Now I'm gonna put a pause right here because there's something that I want you all to do. I don't want you to just take my word for what I began to pray. What I did is when I was going through these songs, there were certain words that the Holy Spirit was highlighting to me. And one of them is in verse two, and it's the word kings. So what I need you to do, if you don't have a concordance, you can use your concordance on your phone. You can just download the app. It's free. And look up the word Kings. It's the Hebrew number 4428. Look that up and you will see that there are three Kings mentioned there. In the English vernacular, we have um, a deficit. When we say a word, it generally means that one thing. But when you're looking at other languages, the one word can have multiple meanings. I need you to go out and look at the three kings that are mentioned there. Do an exhaustive study on them and you will see what this whole psalm is really talking about. You're going to see, ha, the king, Jehovah, hallelujah, Jehovah Hamelech, He is the king over all kings. We already know that. But you begin to do these word studies and it begins to open up your prayer life to a different dimension, okay? So let's keep going. We're in verse four. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. 
Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathens for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. God is saying this, listen, he's telling all of us to do this. Be wise. Now therefore, O oh, you kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Father, we come unified, praying in one voice that Jesus would be seen in all of his glory in the nations. The nations, the people rage against, they ponder worthless, empty thoughts that have no purpose against you. The kings of the land have come in agreement with ancient spirits in defiance of you. You, the anointed Lord, you, the self-existent, you, the eternal, you, the consecrated cream, priest, the Messiah. You are Jehovah Hamalak. Your name carries the weight of one who is over all kings, governors, mayors, presidents, CEOs, leaders. Your influence and power is high above anyone else. You will declare intensely. You will recount and decree your ordinances, your laws, and your commandments to the world. The nations have received your answer. Jesus is your son, the builder of family. He is everlasting, perpetual. He remains. You have shown his lineage for all to see. Spoil and break to pieces with your staff, your sector, anything that would hinder your people who you have called to have a meeting with you, a meeting with destiny. Allow their ears to be open so that they can hear the truth of your word. Allow their eyes to be open so that they can see you in the fullness of your glory. Father, we pray with intelligence. Listen, kings, governors, rulers, leaders, be reformed, corrected by the instructions of God. God, the judge, has passed sentence against those who oppose his son. He will execute his righteous judgment in the earth. Worship the Lord, serve Jehovah, with moral fear, reverence him and rejoice in his presence. Delight yourself in his redeeming love. Oh Lord, we welcome your kabod, the weight of your glory to fill our homes. We welcome your kabod, the weight of your glory to fill our offices. We welcome your kabod, the weight of your glory, to fill our businesses. Search our hearts, O oh Lord. If you find anything in us that opposes Jesus, reveal it to us so that we can first come and ask you for forgiveness. And then we ask you to remove it quickly. Let there be no trace of anything that represents the enemy who is against the Son of God. We attach ourselves to you, King of glory. We yield our hearts to you. 
We open our entire heart to you. Every compartment, every place that we have placed things and hidden it, hidden it back into the crevices of our heart so that we don't get hurt again. Lord, we give that to you. We open our hearts totally to you. We continually decrease so that Jesus may increase in and through us and be expressed through our lives to others so that they can see your love. They can experience your grace. They can receive your mercy. They can receive your correction without running in fear. Oh God, we thank you for what you're doing in the lives of your people, for what you're doing in the nations, for what you're doing in our government systems. We thank you, Lord God, that your glory will be revealed for all to see. We thank you for this, Father. We let your glory rule our homes. We let your presence come in and transform our homes. When we have set up residence and allowed spirits, ancient spirits, to rule in our homes, we ask Holy Spirit that you will reveal the doors that have been opened so that we may shut them and come out of covenantal agreement with the adversary. And we come in agreement with a better covenant, which is the covenant of Christ Jesus. Oh, we thank you, dear God. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives as we pray your word and you cover us, hallelujah, with the blood of Jesus. We lift up our children and we thank you, Lord God. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. May every person that listens to this prayer May their lives be transformed by the power of your word. This we ask, this we pray, we believe, Lord God, that you are reaching out to each of us, asking us to come up closer, come closer to you, come learn of you, draw nigh to God. Oh, glory, hallelujah. You want to reveal yourself to us. So we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity to pray. We thank you, Lord God, for pouring out of your spirit into us. We thank you, Lord God, that you cause our hearts to be set ablaze in your glory. We thank you, Lord God, that we are bold in your word. We thank you, Lord God, that we rise up in the power of your might. We thank you for it, Father. Oh, we glorify your name. This we pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, the King of glory. Hallelujah, the King strong and mighty. Oh, we thank you for your name, Lord God. Your name carries weight. Your name shifts. Your name transforms. Hallelujah, your name sets free. Oh God, we thank you for it, Father. In the name of Jesus, we do pray, amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. But we will see you tomorrow as we read Psalms 3 and pray Psalms 3. Remember, we ask that you would meditate on this psalm. Don't just hear it once and then forget about it, but go back and meditate on it. Use this as they sound as they as the jump off for you and your family to pray together. Join your kids in. Let them pray with you. Give them a scripture to pray so that God may be glorified even in their lives. Do you not know that God used the young people in the Bible also? Most of the kings were young. So train your kids up to pray. Let them come up the way uh, God wanted us to come up, full of his glory full of his word so that when they're at the school and the enemy tries to attack them, they have the power of the word to stop the assault of the enemy dead in its tracks. Oh God, we thank you for what you're doing in the land. You're raising up strong warriors, full of your word, full of your power. We're not only going to have the word, but we're going to have the power of God backing the word. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you for what you're doing. But first, in order for us to walk in the power of your word, we have to know your word. We have to know you. 
So God, we come close to you. We draw close to you, Father. Have a conversation with us. Instruct us, guide our lives. We lay down our will. We lay down all of our plans and we place them before the altar. If our plans don't line up with your will, we would rather have your will than our plans. Oh God, my God, hallelujah. We would rather have your will than anything that we desire here in the earth because it doesn't even compare to you. So we thank you, God, for teaching us how to let go of all these things that we want and we desire and allow you to give us the greater portion of what we want, which is your glory, which is your presence. Oh God, we thank you. And all those things that are concerning us, Lord God, you already told us in Matthew that you already know about those things that concern us and that you would give them to us. You told us that do the lilies of the field ask you for rain, ask you for food? No, you give them what they need. So God knows exactly what we need, but he wants us to come close to him, to draw in and to learn of him so that we can operate in the power of the word. Hallelujah. So we thank you for joining in with us and we thank you that you will not stop. Repeat after me. I will complete all 150 songs. And when I get done with the songs, the problems that I faced, the challenges that I had, the financial uh, deficits that I may have had, God will be eliminating them as we pray the word. You're going to forget about your problems and you're going to see God in his glory answering prayers, showing you what your purpose is, showing you what you're to be doing today. You have an assignment from God and he wants you to complete it. And you're going to see your ears are going to be fine-tuned. Your eyes are going to see how you've never seen before. Oh, glory to God. Give him glory. Give him glory for what he is doing. Give him glory. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Glory to the Lamb of God. Oh, glory to the Lamb of God. So we will be back tomorrow. Go ahead and begin to read Psalm 3 on tomorrow and be ready for midnight oil prayer. Now, some of you all, you're up watching TV. Turn the TV off. And at midnight, turn on this prayer. Some of you all, you're at work. Turn it on while you're working. Come on. Come on. If you can't sleep, Turn it on while you're just laying there and get your spirit built up. The reason we don't see the power that we're looking for is because our spirit is weak. Come on. So you got to get full of this word, full of the might of God, of the power of God, of the dunamis power of God. And that's when you'll begin to see the word miraculously unfolding before you. We love you in the name of the Lord, and we will see you on tomorrow.
Thank you.